So are we ready for some more Canva animations? You guys are just absolutely loving these and I am loving creating them for you and my brain is full of a million ideas. Hence why I will be having my course launching super soon where I will be sharing the very best Canva animations that I have pulled together for you as well as including the templates in there too. But today it is coming up to Christmas and I thought we'll do a little special Christmas animation. Now if you keep watching through to the end I have a very special bonus for you. If you like this video please subscribe. I am growing my channel right now and I really appreciate every like, comment and share you've given me. So let's begin. I'm showing you how exactly I have created this one for you. Okay you're gonna see when I play this tutorial that it seems like a lot of different frames but I don't want you to worry about that because it is not as many steps as you think and I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process. I do find that when I am creating these animation tutorials that it's better to start with what you want the end result to look like so I always design my end frame first and then I work myself backwards and I'm going to talk you through how I do that. So you'll see here on this screen, I already have my Merry Christmas message. I have the star and the bow and all the different elements that make up the Christmas tree, as well as this background effect as well. So I'm going to quickly show you how I built this design and then talk you through how we do the animation steps. First of all, I'm going to go back to my homepage and I'm going to create a new design and the template I have used is mobile video. So when we open up mobile video, I am first of all going to start with searching for the Christmas stars and present elements that you saw. So I typed in 3D Christmas gift and within the graphics you will see that there's lots of lovely different presents we can use. And I'm just going to select a few different angles. If you go to magic recommendations as well, you can see there's even more options come up. And just grab a few. And then on the page, I'm going to shrink them down. So I can see which ones that I have. Then one of the other ones I had is the Christmas snowflakes. So I typed in gold snowflake. Ornam oh, ornament if I can spell and again you can see there's lots and lots of different options so I just try and use the magic recommendations and grab as many different designs as I possibly can and again shrink them down on my page so that I can roughly see what elements I have then the next one I had was 3D gold star and really you want to keep making sure that you're choosing elements that are all similar look and style to each other because that's what gives you much more cohesive design in the end. And I only need one of these because I'm just going to be copying and repeating the same element here. I don't need lots of different ones. And then the last one I had was 3D Christmas Bobble. And here I'm looking for ones that are gold and white so they match with the other graphics I have. I'm again going to use magic recommendations and here I'm going to select the different coloured striped ones I had too. So now that I have all of the elements that are going to make up my Christmas tree, I'm just placing one on the page here, I need to find my bow. I need to find my bow. I'm going to type in gold bow ribbon and this is when I selected here. It's a nice big gold 3D one, so that's perfect. And then I need my star. I typed in oops, Christmas tree topper snowflake. And I chose this one here again because it has the similar look and feel that we're going for for the rest of Christmas elements. Once I have all of these elements here, I'm just going to create a new page and I'm going to start building the Christmas tree now. So just taking all of these elements, I'm going to just try and build them out as I can. And because I'm going to be focusing on the animation, I am going to just speed through this part and build it all together for you. Thank you. 
right now that I have all of the Christmassy elements there was one I did forget to tell you about and that is these little bows as well and I just typed in gold ribbon with bow for you to find them and we're going to change the background to a dark blue just so we can see all the elements much more clearly as we start to work on everything. I am going to place the gold bow on the page as I said we want to create the last frame page so that we can work backwards and I'm just lining that up to make sure that it's centered and I'm going to grab the star for the top of the tree and again make sure that it's lined up center and then for the text I'm just going to type Merry Christmas change it to a lighter colour just now. Okay so the text is Bundt Cake but we need to apply an effect to the text so that we can get that nice glow behind it. And first of all we're going to change the text to a nice gold colour and then we're going to go into effects and we're going to go to neon and we're going to increase the intensity right up to about ooh, 77% and then we also need to add a little curve so that's a bit much so we're going to reduce that down to about 45 just so we have that nice curve and again centre in the middle so we have all the elements for our Christmas tree now we have to start building the animation so I'm going to delete the extra pages that we have because we don't need them anymore and we can also reduce this down to 1.5 seconds and I'm going to duplicate the frame and on the first frame I'm going to delete the text and the bow and the star because we don't need that until the very very last kind of frames and we're going to select all of the elements and you can do that by if you just click on the left hand side of the page and then hold your mouse and drag and it selects all your elements and we're going to go up to transparency and we're going to reduce this way down and I'm keeping it at about 5% and this is just so you can actually find the elements again if you reduce down to zero then you're not going to be able to find them as easily so I'm going to duplicate the page so now that we have duplicated the page we are just going to take one single element and we are going to increase the transparency right up to 100 and that way you can now see one element and we are going to change the timings to 0.1 and apply to all pages and this is just so we can make sure the movements are really fast and it starts to build an animation. Now we don't need any transitions really, this is just purely um, the speed is going to add the animation effects and we just need to keep going through each step and selecting another element that we're going to increase the transparency right up and again duplicate next element transparency right up and again I will fly through these steps so that you don't have to sit and watch me <laughs> do these one by one we also need to add the sparkle background that we have in this design and I found that by searching gold frame Border Luxury Sparkle, I think it was. Let's see if we can find it. And again, I went into Graphics. And it was just this one here. Nope, that one's a bit too glittery. Let's just find the right one. And I want this one to be quite subtle. Here it's here. But you can see on the first frame, this is too bright. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to use the transparency. And in the first frame, it starts off at 0% so it's not visible in the first frame and in the second frame we are going to reduce it down to 10% and gradually each frame we increase it by 10% until we are up at 100 and it just means that we get that nice subtle introduction to it 
without it being like not there in one frame and then fully in the next frame. So we'll just add that in too. And then once it's in at 100% we just want to go to our position and our layers and make sure that it's sitting behind all of the Christmas tree elements because then it's much easier to edit if it's not sitting on the top layer. That we have all of the Christmas elements making up the Christmas tree. This is when we want to add in the animation effects to show the bow and the the star coming down from above the top of the design. So what we need to do is we need to copy the bow from our last frame and we can just do copy C, copy V to get it exactly in place and we're going to duplicate it and then go back to the previous frame and what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it down so that it's really small and again place it it's in the centre and if you're finding it difficult to find the centre we can always do it by position where we go to arrange and then you can click this one here into centre and then that absolutely finds your centre line and again we're going to reduce our transparency down to zero because we, what we want to happen when we add a transition and we go to match and move what we want is to see the bow slowly appearing up to its full size and if the bow is visible we don't get that same transition effect but what you'll find here is that our frames are moving much too quickly so we have to increase the length of the duration of each slide so that the transition isn't so quick and I'm just going to move this up to about a second and the same one with this up to about a second as well and we can adjust now the duration of that ribbon movement so that it's a bit slower and not so fast. So that's has got the bow on, so that's one transition. Then we're going to duplicate it again and this time with the star that we're going to place on here. We also want to have some sort of animation element with this star. So what we need to do with this star is again we are going to select it and copy and place it on the previous page. We want it to have some movement to come down from the top of the frame to look like it's going to sit on top of the tree. So we're going to move it up to the top just so it's almost off the edge of the page but not quite because if it goes off the page then we'll lose the element and again we are going to make our transparency zero so you don't actually see it on the page until we add our transition and again we're going to do is match and move and you can see it now starting to appear and when I drag this timeline you can now see it moving down into place like so again we're going to duplicate the page now that we have the animations in place across these slides and we want to add our text. So if I just copy the text into the previous page here okay and we are going to animate our text and I like the typewriter effect because then it looks like it's just appearing left to right and the speed is a little fast again so I'm just going to reduce the speed down a little here and in this last frame I'm actually going to make it a good three seconds because what I want to do now if I zoom in again this is just to add a little more animation to the page and if I hold down my shift key and I select all the little gold stars within the design and I group these and I go to animate I'm going to go down to flicker and I just want these to flicker in and out as if they are like Christmas lights so now when you see the animation effect start to happen they have 
this effect here. And I'm just going to go back in here and make sure. Oh, see, I've got to animate on both and enter. I don't want it to disappear again. So I'm just going to have it animate on enter so that it stays on the page at the end. So now when we play the animation, you can see all the elements come in one by one. And then the bow and the star appear in the wording. And we have that subtle glow with the stars. Now, I do hope you enjoyed that tutorial, but I have a special gift for you. Since it's Christmas time, I have attached a link to that Canva template that you can download and use for yourself. And you do need Canva Pro to be able to use all the features that I have used for this animation. And if you don't have it yet, I do have a special 45 day free trial through Canva that you also get in my links below. So please do let me know if you have enjoyed this tutorial. Do let me know if you end up using this template and tag me if you would like to show me how you use it in your socials. But for now, thank you.